if you caught my live this morning, oh, really rubbish camera. Um, you may have seen that I will have started this chest of drawers, which was blue this morning. And it was one of the pieces that we have moved from the guest bedroom to the master bedroom. The colors weren't working. So I've just decided to go with a flat finish on this piece. It was originally quite um, French in its finish. It was one of my paint finishes and I've redone it. Kept my faux marble on top. I decided to keep that because I really like it. And I've mixed up a shade of color for the lower proportion of this. I, I really do apologize to the guys that are coming on now. If this is a bit glitchy, I've had connection failure today. So I do apologize. So like I said, if you'd seen me this morning, this was blue and it's now changed. I've painted over the wax finish, um, two coats, and it was a color mix. I'm so glad I caught your video. Oh, well, let me know if it's good connection because it really wasn't this morning and I've, I've had lots of failures with connection on different platforms. So, yeah, from blue to this colour, it's a colour mix I've used. Um, I didn't do any ratios, I've just done a colour dump. I've added mainly country grey and a little bit of um, French linen and then a good dash of old white just to make this a little bit paler I want it to kind of blend in with the room because I've got a really big piece of furniture on the other side of the room that's really, um, really textured and really lots of things going on with it. And this this was like that and it just, the two things jarred against each other. So here I am, if you caught me this morning, this is where I, I've changed the handles because there was an issue with handles. Good connection, oh that's good, I don't know why. So I'm at this stage and I, I had thought flat finish, um, I'll add no more to this. And then I've been looking at it and thinking, right, um, should I add some, some coloured wax, some tin tinted wax somewhere? And I didn't want to add dark wax because I know it would make it more warmer. And this is a wax that I don't often use. I'm using white wax. White wax. Um, and I'm just going to add it. I've added a little bit there and I thought, mmm, it looks good. So I'm just going to do it on camera while you're with me. Um, and just add a little bit to all of the crevices on here, just to add that sort of ghosting of sort of dust or something. I had thought about mixing a grey gray up, but then I thought that would muddy it up as well. Um, just pushing into all of those details. And then I'm going to clear, clean it off just to soften it in. I've got, where's my wax brush? It's over here. Um, I've got my clean wax brush here. I'm just gonna, I, I've already waxed this piece, guys. I've already used um, clear wax over the whole piece. Just found your video, love them, thank you. Um, nothing too exciting here. This is just me painting for myself. Um, and, you know, it's a simple finish, but I think it, it's gonna work really well in our room. So I'm just adding clear wax there and removing any excess where I don't want it. Like so. I've hit that handle, but that's fine. It's just that small difference it makes, just lightens it up. Hello, hello lovely people. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna carry on doing. So I've done all the draw fronts. If I didn't like this, I would take clear wax and, and kind of clean it off. It's a good time to do it if you're not sure. Um, let's do this next one. Also, with this being a, a, a repaint, so this has been chalk painted before and now it's um, been done again for, its second, um, for the second time. Um, all the drawers are back in position. I'm not going to pull these drawers out. I'm going to leave this to harden for, for at least 24 hours before shuffling the drawers around because um, chalk paint gets build up. So you really want the paint to cure. Good connection here in U USA. Lovely. So the chalk paint really needs time to cure because it will chip on the corners, especially on this kind of cheap furniture. It looks expensive, but it's not. It's cheap. One of new subscribers, <laughs> nice to meet you. There's so, one of your new subscribers, there's so many of you. Um, of course, I love your accent, lovely to listen to. Oh, here, it's very northern, my accent. It's, um, 
Yeah, it's not a very flattering accent, I don't think, in the UK. But hey, hey ho, I'll take it. I'll take that. So let's add a little bit of this. It's really refreshing for me to use white wax. It's such a long time since I've actually used white wax and gone so very neutral, so light and neutral. Um, but nevertheless, I'm quite liking it. Right, let's move a little bit of clear just from here, just to clear the residue. I'm trying not to knock these drawers around because it will, like I said, it will chip if you're heavy handed with this because it, it needs time to just allow the paint to cure when it's had build up of layers of paint. Probably over time, over time, it might chip on the corners and I might get really rough with it and allow it to chip. Your accent sounds much better than Mississippi accent. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Maybe it does, I don't know. Um, we are going to do the, the framework as well, just a little bit. I think it's adding that smokiness, a little bit of something. It's hard to probably see on the camera. You can tell from the top to the bottom. I think it looks all right. I just really wanted to come back on here. And for all of the people that maybe caught this, and if you didn't catch it this, uh, this morning, go back and have a look. Um, I've never used white wax. H have never used white wax. I'm, I really apologize to all these lovely new people. I may have said it, I'm dyslexic. So when they pop up on the screen, these comments, I either read them wrong or they've gone too quick for me to engage my brain with my dyslexia. So I do apologise. I'm going to keep on going and stop talking because I think people like to see rather than me rambling on. So I'm using wax brushes. I think it's always a great way. And like I said, any, any tinted wax, I always tend to put a layer of clear wax first and the reason for that is you've got a little bit of wriggle room with it if you use a dark wax or black wax straight over this it will grab if you're not used to chalk paint it will grab to the surface of the chalk paint and it'll be a nightmare to remove it'll be a repaint job so be careful with any of your tinted waxes also guys if you've not got white wax try using clear wax and adding a bit, a bit of old white and you can tint your clear wax very, very well. Um, so that's another good tip. Any colour really, you, like I said, I originally, I'm going to show you, so this shows you about my indecisiveness. There's, it is a bit of a waste, but there's a little bit of grey and I popped a bit on the sides and the warmness of the colour that I've chosen and the blueness of this grey didn't work so um it came it came back off and then I, I decided to go let's go white wax that smoky sort of ephemeral finish and I really really like it I think the white wax works it's just something in there that just softens the whole the whole look No rhyme or reason with the wax, I'm just going for it. I'm, I'm aiming for the detailed areas to try and fill the, the detailed areas on the piece of furniture, really. But I am going over everywhere else as well. Just that little bit of smokiness. And then I'm going to go back, clear wax, add a bit of clear wax, and then that should help move that wax around. Can you hear me, guys? I don't know if you can hear me. And it's not good having my back to you guys, is it really? But you wouldn't see what I was doing. It's giving it that sort of a lined feel. I really, really like that. It's just soft, lined oak, really, really neutral. I like it, I really like it. So this morning's live was all about being um, indecisive. I was being really indecisive about this piece. I knew that it needed to be less of a hero in the room. Um, and then all that left me with was very neutral shades. 
nothing because the other piece in the room is kind of a Savenska blue kind of color and I needed something to be more pared down but warm so this is where we've ended up um, I'm really liking it actually I'm gonna go I'm gonna do lots on this bottom trim because I think that'll look really nice Notice I'm jumping back to my clear. Hello USA. There's lots of, I must have picked the right time because there's lots of you from the USA um, knocking around today. A little bit extra there. It's a subtle difference, but I really think it's a good difference. It just literally softens everything. Missed a bit, missed a bit in there. Isn't it wonderful when you reach out for a product that you haven't used in such a long time and then you realise, why haven't I been using that for a long time? And this white wax is exactly doing that for me. Um, remembering, why, why didn't I use this more often? I think one of my old tutorials, one that was done in the garden many years ago, it was when Annie brought out her white wax and I built it as a faded grandeur piece. And I used it then and it was the most popular video to date on my channel and now I remember why. This is such a good product. It really does add that sort of lovely Gustavian softness, you know. Um, I call it chateau, chateau chic, but it's kind of Gustavian in its feel. It's really soft and neutral and mellow. Dare I actually put white wax on the handles? What do you guys think? Um, I've worked with lots of furniture, but always varnish. Um, I presume that's to top coat. I love wax because using wax um, with any sun chalk paint means that like this, this project, I've been able to go back and re-paint um, the actual whole piece again, straight over the wax. We be trying wax for the first time. I will be trying the wax for the first time. Go for it, handles. Let's do it. I can always take it off if it don't work. Go for it. I love it. I'm, I'm going on one person's opinion. I'm just going to go for it. Slam it into there. I don't know what it's going to. I'm going to do all of them. So, in for a penny, in for a pound. I might regret this in a moment, but I'm not. I'm going to just go for it. This, these handles have got a little bit of detail on it, so they should come up quite nice. I'm hoping for that dusty sort of feel. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. I will bring the camera close in a minute. It's really quite nice. It's kind of bedded that handle in as well. So let's bring some of that off. Oh yes, really nice. And these handles, they were taken off another piece of furniture, a, a vintage piece of furniture that no longer required this style of handle. And I'll show you the other handles. That's what came off this one. And they had a little screw, but the weight of the drawers, I lost two handles. So I've had to change out the handles so that they screw right the way through and it's got a bit of traction now. So. That's why these handles went, these ones are slightly smaller. But of course, you save your handles, they'll come in handy for another project in the future. Um, I love this white wax on the handles. I'll just keep on cleaning them off. I'll see if I can move the camera as well so you, you guys can see 
what what happened to the handles. That's good. Keep on going. Just checking nobody's saying anything to me. Nobody's saying anything, so that's good for me. Yes, I love it. And I want it to be too, I want to get some of that contrast back in. So just really work it out. Clear wax just to take a bit off the top. Now they definitely have a faded, more blended feel to the piece. So there you go. They look really good. I'm really happy with them. I just feel that like I can go heavier with this white wax. Whenever I'm waxing, guys, I always take, wax gives it a better look on the handles. It does, it's really soft and it kind of mellows everything in. I want this piece to kind of be very blended into my interior. Um, I was saying this morning that sometimes these things don't have to shout in the room, they just have to exist uh, and be a great um, platform to display things i.e. I brought this over this morning um, you know this can be my pop of colour that sits in the room with you know maybe not that vase but a bigger one with a colourful bunch of flowers and then the flowers is what brings the colour into the room but this is a really good stage for um, the interior so occasionally it's good to not be all bells and whistles and just have um, you know, one piece that really jumps out and the rest can blend in and I think this will do now. I'm super happy with that, really happy with it. It kind of looks like, um, now it's beginning to look a little bit like bleached oak, which is really, really beautiful. I am going to take you out of the camera holder. I apologise if this kind of goes really out the the vision goes out because when i move it really doesn't like the moving around so let's go i don't know if you can see that let's see if i can go this way you might get better light so there is little bits of the lighting in here is really not good i'm really 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 super happy so let's see if we can get this handle Yes, and there is um, brush strokes in my paintwork. I purposely allowed it because I like that. I, d I like it looking though it's been painted. It's kind of got the oldness to it, so it looks looks really good, especially when you hit it with the um, different coloured waxes. Absolutely love it, gorgeous, beautiful, love it. Thank you. I, I feel when I was so undecisive this morning that I may have got this right. I really do think it's gonna sit really lovely in the room, which at some point when the room's finished, I will maybe do a tour of the house and um, let you guys all see all of the bits of furniture that I've painted over the time in amongst the house. We, I do keep a lot of my furniture, hence this one, it's been painted, it'll be its third incarnation. It's just moved from house to house and room to room and been repainted. So I thought it was really worth an outing of you seeing what it looked like this morning, hence what it looks like this evening um, here in the UK, UK time that is. So if you haven't seen it, go back, you'll see it as a 
kind of a baby blue colored piece of furniture and now it's gone to neutral. Very Gustavian. Um, I'm going to, um, oh, would love, love a tour. You wouldn't love it at the minute because it is upside down. We're still decorating. We've got no flooring upstairs. I think we're going to put carpets down, cozier for a English home. Um, I don't love carpets, but it just works. And I've got a brother that um, fits and supplies carpets. So it's going to be carpet, I think. Um, but yeah, that is it. I'm not going to show anymore. I'm going to do the sides off camera. Um, are you uh, are you painted love? Um, hang on, let me. I'm losing you. Um, are your painted love t? Oh, are your painted love t-shirts for sale? If so, where can I find them? They're not. I've just recently purchased new ones because I'd worn everything out, um, and they're not for sale. I I know there's many people that would really like one. Um, Daniel in um, uh, blah, 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 lost it. But one of my old students, Daniel, which I'm meeting in Germ Germany, said, could he have one? I'm going to give him one of my, um, one of my tops. Um, thank you so much. Enjoyed always. Uh, would love to see. I'm going to move my hand there. Sorry, guys. Seeing your pieces. Household would be lovely. Um, hello from New Hampshire, USA. Saw this piece this morning whilst... Oh, thank you. Beautiful. And yes, thank you. I, I, I'll endeavour, I mean, I, I really should get myself into gear and get these printed because lots of people have asked me over time and, you know, um, it would be nice to allow other people to, um, these are new, I've had a new logo put on the back, Making Furniture Art, that's my little logo at the minute. Um, right, I am, there's plenty of you on today, that's really lovely, thank you. I am going to go and finish my piece, I've got Mr M to drag out of the garden to help me lug the whole thing with the drawers in. I know that's precarious. I should leave it in the workshop overnight, really, but I can't resist but to have it back in the room. I won't be pulling the drawers in and out tonight, though. Um, love your work it's an inspiration. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all of, I would love a T-shirt in advance, Scotland. Oh, there's so many of you. Um, love, uh, I can't the going the comments are going too quick i can't read so fast for youtube they go too quick thank you again i think tonight i probably probably will hit the twenty thousand subscribers on my channel so all of those that i've su subscribed just recently i think there's been about five thousand of you over the last week thank you thank you thank you it really means the world to me um I couldn't be more grateful and of course everybody that stayed with me for the seven years plus that I haven't brought anything here um, thank you for being patient and staying with me I was busy doing other things and I maybe should have stayed here the most engaging audience that, that I've had so thank you so much don't forget to hit the notifications bell if you are subscribed when I get around to bringing brand new tutorials. I, I think I'm back in the workshop next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm hopefully gonna film something from beginning to end. Is there anything you guys would like to see? That would be really interesting. Um, give me a shout if there's anything that you'd like to see. One thing that I've got in mind is my rust tutorial. I never showcased the drawers on the rust. If you remember the rusty cabinet, I don't want to show you my mess, but I'm going to just twist the camera. That cabinet, if you remember that cabinet, I never showcased the drawers and that was Crackler, a lot of Crackler. And somebody keeps on asking me, please show how to use Crackler in the way that I do. So that is most definitely, I'm going to create a three drawer piece of furniture with different Crackler finishes on there. And I think that could be really useful to many people because I use it in the non-manufacturing way. Um, it is, and it's withstanded really well and you get lovely large cracks. So I think that is a must to create. If anybody wants to do that uh, modern industrial look, um, I think that will be a great tutorial. It's kind of in depth. I will show even the manufacturing, Annie's way of using Crackler and work onto the way that I use it with different multiple, multiple, multiple tones of paint. So um, I think that might be my first project when I get back to um, filming again. Bear with me, it takes a long time. 
um, great, would be good to see. Yeah, I've also, I want to bring a bit of woodwork in, you know, like changing a piece of furniture. How about decoupage wall art demos? Oh God, that would be amazing as well, wouldn't it? I don't know if Mr. M will let me um, do the wall. I, I do have my staging board, so that might be something that we can do on a board in, in the workshop, most definitely. But definitely give me a shout for anything. I'm quite happy to kind of think out of the box and then plant a few seeds. As I always say, plant a few seeds in your brains and let you run off with the ideas the way you want to. Get those t-shirts on, uh, on the market. Um, on the market. Your work. Oh, thank you. Um, beautiful, lovely. I'm going to have to go because I, you're all keeping me by your lovely comments. I'm going to go and finish this and go and have some supper. It's been a long day. If you haven't seen it, um, the previous incarnation, it was from a distance. It was kind of quite textured and speckled and um, kind of lots of texture and chippiness on there. Um, thank you, Jonathan, for sharing with us. My pleasure. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Love the red Christmas bench. Thank you. I have been enjoying your video. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can only say thank you so many times. I literally have said that a million times. Um, I actually, my my husband went to bed early last night and as he went to bed, I said thank you to him. And he went, why are you saying thank you to me? I went, because I've said thank you so many times. Um, it's just become innate, but I do mean it. It comes from the heart. Um, I absolutely am truly grateful that people have persevered with me and they're still here and still enjoying what I do because it makes me enjoy it just as much. So definitely answers on a postcard. If there's anything you wanna see, it might take my brain off in another direction, but it'd be really good to know because I've covered quite a lot of things, but I, I'm always up for something new. So I will do my best to bring something new over the next few weeks. Um, I would love to see you do crackle. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do crackle on, um, I've got a small a small drawers and I might even do, I've got another little idea. I might even do like galvanised, it's a patina, galvanised steel, kind of grey galvanised steel. It's something that I haven't really done, but I think I can create a galvanised, which could be good for many other things, um, different sort of interior projects, things that you might be painting um, to put in the house that you wouldn't ordinarily put in the house, something that's wood that turns it into metal or what looks like metal. So I think that would be nice. Um, amazing to see. Fingers crossed that I get it good for you guys. Right, I'm going. Um, Mr. M is winding the hose pipe in, so that means like he's going in to start cooking. It's my turn to cook tonight, so hopefully he, um, he might let me off if I'm still finishing this. Fingers crossed, anyway. Anyhow, much love. Thank you once again. I will catch you all very soon. Looking forward to it. Wonderful, as always. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Lots of love. Take care, everyone.